Leilani, before we uh, get to all the other stuff, uh, you, were, you, you were the subject of a, a fairly vigorous uh, attempt to get you bounced from Instagram just, just the other day. What, what had you done to merit this attempt to cancel you? Well, I actually was banned from Twitter. I, I, I'm sorry, Instagram. I'm completely banned. Um, I've got a 30-day uh, Facebook ban right now at the moment. And I have been trying, yeah. they've tried to kick me off Twitter as well. So I got reported on Twitter the other day for posting a picture saying it's very weird of um, Zelensky being posing around and doing all his photo shoots. So there was that. Um, oh, I got yeah. a 30-day ban on uh, Facebook for questioning why it's taxpayers' money that's going to go and pay the vaccine um, damages rather than the big pharma companies who have made billions and billions out of this vaccine. Why are our government, mm. with our money, paying for vaccine damages? Um, and then I got another Facebook ban for questioning why there's a $53 million lawsuit against a horse vaccine, not even a human vaccine. So it's like, I can't speak about vaccines at all. Um, and Instagram, I got wiped off for being against lockdowns and mandates. As well, oh, as it's very about so. <laughs> yeah, so j just to just to go, so the mandate thing is, you've got uh, taxpayers of no choice about whether they have to take these things or not. Uh, uh, but if it kills somebody, then the taxpayer also has to pay. To compensate the person who is getting, you've become. Do, do you feel you've become controversial, or are you slightly surprised that things you say uh, rile people enough uh, to want to get you expunged from public life entirely? I am surprised because I think it's pretty normal to ask questions. Why can't we ask questions? That's all I do. Why is Zelensky posing and taking photo shoots all the time? Why can't we talk about vaccine safety and vaccine efficacy? Why, uh, why were we locked down? You know, all of these questions, they should not be controversial. Why, why are women, um, sorry, why are biological males in women's sports? I don't think... There's, um, they're, they're stupid questions to be asking. Well, let me let me just pick that one up, Leilani, because uh, it seems almost ludicrous now that if you ask people outside the House of Commons what a woman is, as a, a GB News a reporter did the other day, they all flee uh, in terror. At the Australian Ministry of Health, they're unable to say what a woman is. On the U.S. Supreme Court, the newest judge can't say what a woman is. Um, are you sort of surprised that uh, what a woman is has apparently become a political hot potato? It's completely insane. It's an adult female human. Every biological male, even if they're claiming to be a woman, has male DNA, um, male chromosomes through every single cell of their body. So mm. a female... Uh, a female, a woman, is an adult human female. And why can't Keir Starmer, Richie Sunak and all the rest of them say that? Well, because uh, there's this possibility. Well, as Keir Starmer, he, he dodged the one about whether a woman can have a pee. I mean, I take the chromosome thing, which is very interesting to me. But in the old days with transsexuals, as we said then, they at least had to go and have the old wedding tackle taken off. And they went through a lot of trouble to pass no, as a woman, which was the... Hmm. Now they just have to identify. Yeah, they, they just have to they, say... I feel that I am a female. Um, look at Leah Thomas. Look at the size of her. Um, mm. Her, I say her because mm. I'm trying. I'm being politically correct here. But look at him. Yeah. Look at the size of him compared to the other females. Like this is not fair. It's a completely unfair um, advantage that he has. He should not be playing uh, women's sports. Um, they shouldn't be in women's hospital in women's hostels in um, women's jails, in our changing rooms. It's completely and utterly wrong. And I think there's a lot of nervousness. Like, politicians are afraid to say it. I think the majority of people know and they can define it. But I think the problem is, is they're too afraid of the backlash. They're too afraid of um, what's happened to um, J.K. Rowling, for example. You can't... Yeah, yeah. Even if they... You know, no one cares how somebody wants to live. I don't care if... 
a man wants to put a dress on and, and say he's a woman and, and I've identified, but me not wanting them to be in women's sports or, or what I've described, does not make me a transphobe, which is this new word that's going around, calling everybody a transphobe mm. if they don't agree with them, you know, being in in what we fought for, our own sports, our own awards, our um, our own hostels. Well, it's uh, in sport. It's certainly uh, offend. If it's not fair, it's not sport. And even these over remunerated. Uh, frankly, evil American college coaches doing anything to win, like putting a guy on the team, uh, should understand that it's not a real win because it wasn't fair. But what I what I find sort of slightly unnerving about this is that if you compare it to the way it was 30, 40, 50 years ago, there's a sense now that women themselves are kind of being erased by this. The idea of a female identity uh, that is beyond Leah Thomas. It's beyond me suddenly sticking a frock on and saying, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm GB News' new female uh, presenter. If, if anyone can do that, then there's no such thing as a woman. And increasingly, this whole transgender movement seems to be diminishing women in that sense. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's, it's, it is, we, we fought so hard for our rights only to have a man come along and say, you know what, I can be better at being a woman than you can. I can be better at sport mm. as a woman than you are. I can be, I can win your awards and your business awards, be woman of the year. They, they just had um, the transgender, uh, I think he's the deputy secretary for health in America, who's a transgender, win an award for mm. best female or, or whatever it was that um, he yeah, got Yeah, woman award of the for. year. Woman of the Year. I'm sorry, Woman of the Year. And it is it's completely unfair. Yeah. He's not a woman. He is a biological male. And, you know, we had Tom Harwood just come out and say, look, if a trans person blocks puberty um, of their birth sex, then they can they will grow the, the bone of the sex they want to be with the hormones. So he's basically saying um, it's OK if they want to do sport, let them get hormone blockers mm. at puberty, which is, you know, 12 or 13 years old is puberty. So you're talking about giving hormone blockers to 11 and 12 year old kids. It's completely and utterly crazy. Um, and I say it's crazy, but there's a couple of people out there who think it's normal and it's just not.